it, it, it's the elephant in the room, I guess, the video yes. that comes out, the place you were at last year. Just how jarring was it seeing that video? Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's not elephant in the room. I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I'm not there. It, that's, that's their problem, you know, that they got to figure out or sort out. That's kind of how I look at it. It's not that uncommon to see fights in practice. How, how would you, um, for people who don't see that in the NBA, I mean, it, is that a common thing, non-common thing? How do you typically deal with when something like that happens? Uh, it, it depends. Each situation is different. I mean, I, there's no you know, a rule in, in a book that says that this, 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 or that's going to happen, you know, and, and uh, so you just deal with every situation that comes up based on uh, the facts and what you know. And, and you move forward as a group, whatever that means. Yeah. How is you guys have been in camp for days and days now. I mean, these things happen when you guys are beating on the same guys, your, your teammates, time and time again, right? Uh, I, Maybe I, not I, to that extent. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we, we haven't, it hadn't happened to us, so I don't, I don't know. Like, like I said, each. Each team's different, each situation's different, each person's different, and so I can't speak for any others. I, I know we've been in camp, and if you include the summer, it's been a lot of days, and uh, you know we haven't had anything yet where we had to deal with any situation like that, so again, it's just different. It seems like your vibe here is good, like you guys having a good time out here, singing happy birthday and everything, and, and there's a good positivity, like still. Yeah, because yeah, uh, one, of, <clears throat> one of my, you know, one of our uh, core values and is is joy, and you know, it, it not not just when you win, but you know, you, you got to be. This is a kid's game, and most, if not all, these guys, they still be going to the rec center or playground and hooping, even if they weren't getting paid and they were doing something else, you know, because they they love it that much. That's how they got into it when they were young youngsters, you know. So, uh, and then. One of my, one of our, one of our principles is is having fun. And so we want to have fun. We want, uh, you know, this this building, this practice court, to be filled with joy. And, and as much as we can, we're gonna try to do it together. Yeah, Mike, Mike, five uh, five days between preseason games. What are you using that time for? Uh, just to clean up on some stuff and continue to take a look at guys. You know, we, this has been a competitive camp. Uh, you know, we have guys in camp, obviously, that we're still taking a look at uh, and that, you know, we're going to have to make some tough decisions on. And, and guys, man, I tell you what, this is probably one of the most competitive camps I've been in. And, you know, I've been, I think this year, 31 or something like that for me. So I've been in a lot of training camps. And the guys that uh, we have on this roster now, from 1 to 20, uh, been fun to be around. they played their behinds off. And they've all tried to do what, what we've asked them to do, which was whatever is best for the team. And, and uh, so they're, ju they're just making our decisions harder and harder and harder. So for us, it's continuing to take a look at, at, at guys and try to move pieces, you know, players around and see if we can put them in the best possible situation and stuff like that and, and while getting a little bit better. Are there two starting spots and, and the last few roster spots still up in the air? Uh, yeah, you know, the more I, I watch it, I, I just think Kevin might be the right fit at that, that, that two-round spot. But, uh, you know, for, for me right now, uh, that, that uh, power forward spot can be wide open. Uh, it can be wide open from the standpoint that, hey, tonight we may need this. Tomorrow night we may need that. You know, and, and having the vers versatility uh, on, on the team to be able to do that at, from time to time, uh, for me, is, is um, yeah, that's positive for being a head coach. How, how we, soon do you anticipate making maybe a, a trim to your roster to where all of a sudden that's behind and you can focus on what's in front of you? Uh, we want to play at least another game or two to get, continue taking a look at guys before making uh, you know the first cut. So uh, again, we know we inevitably have to do it. Uh, I, I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could keep all 20 of these guys because I, I'm telling you, not not only are they. Uh, deserving of it from the standpoint of what they've done on the floor. But man, we, we, we have some really, really good human beings. And, and when you can surround yourself with good human beings, it, it makes it that much uh, enjoyable to come come, come to work. You know? We saw, last feel question. Like work. Right. We saw a lot of split cuts from you guys game one. What do you feel like is the most, uh, what are the keys to running that most effectively? Uh, you know, first one, you got you got to have guys that can facilitate, and uh, you know we, we got a guy in terms of a big and Domas that is is one of the best. But the second thing is uh, having guys that uh, are committed to playing without the basketball. 
the game of basketball, as you guys know, is, is a lot of pick and roll and a lot of ISO. And guys get taught that from a young, young age because, you know, they're in the gym working by themselves and, you know, having that ball in their hands is, is a lot of the, the workouts going up. And so uh, having, the, having players that, that, that have that willingness to move without the ball and not just move but, but change speeds when they move and then putting in the time uh, to, so our, we could teach our guys the little nuances of, of who dies, who stays, who comes off the DHO. All those intricacies uh, are something that add up over time, and hopefully over time we can get better and even add more things to the mix of those split cuts. All right.